What's going on my good people? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are going to be installing some side skirts on the Mazda 3. Now I know this is a long awaited video. I've had a bunch of people ask me why, when I'm, when I'm gonna be getting some side skirts. I don't know, for some reason, side skirts just weren't on the top of my priority list, but they're finally here. Finally! I ordered them from our good friends at Mix Store. So I know this is a long awaited video for some of you guys, so let's not waste any more time. Let's hop right into the install. Well, here we have it guys. These are the OEM style side skirts from Mix Store. Now, if you're not looking for these, as I always do, I'll put up some photos of some other side skirts if you're looking to go a different route. So right off the rip, I don't really know too much about side skirts. Oh really? I didn't know that. And I didn't need to know that. But these feel very cheap. Maybe that's how they're supposed to be. I don't know. Like I said, it's my first time ordering side skirts for a vehicle. And they ran me about 200 bucks. So I guess you get what you pay for. They didn't come with any instructions. Well, I only see one cutout where I'm assuming it just slips behind some screws. And on the front, there's absolutely nothing there. So I'm not really 100% sure how we're going to install these, but we're going to take it step by step and figure this out. Let's get a kind of a rough draft of how it's going to go on. So it looks like it's gonna kind of sneak back behind the mud flap. If you don't have mud flaps, looks like it's gonna make contact somewhere in the wheel well. Looks like it just pushes against the splash guard. So it'll kind of sit something like this. Let's just clean up this bottom area and get a nice clean surface of what we're gonna do. We don't really have anything here, so I'm just gonna assume that we're gonna have to drill out a pilot hole, because I'm gonna assume that it's gonna line up somewhere right here. So I guess first things first, we're gonna remove the mud flap. If you don't have a mud flap, you can skip this part. You should just have two bolts and a couple other things right here. You might just have three bolts. It's been a long time. I've had these on for a while. So it looks like we're gonna have to drill a pilot hole right here where this bolt was. But before we do that, let's go ahead and hop into the back and see what we're dealing with in the backside. So I'm sure this is really difficult to see but here's the little fork. If you see in between the splash guard right here and the plastic trim right here, what I'm assuming we're doing is just pushing it up and through kind of like this. As you can see, I'm just kind of pushing it on. And I think it just kind of sits snug in there like that. So we kind of got it in place now with some tape holding it up. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and sneak it back here, put it behind the weather guard. So we do have this little clip right here. So what we're gonna do is kind of mock it up right there. We're gonna drill our pilot hole kind of like that. So with our pilot hole started, what we're gonna do is we're gonna expand it out to fit the bolts that we remove for the mud flap or whatever bolt that you have. So if you're rocking the rally armor mud flaps, you're gonna wanna expand this hole to 1564 for this to fit perfectly through. So with your hole expanded. You what? What did he say? Oh, what do you mean by that? So with that drilled out, we should be able to slide our bolt in perfectly. So now it's just a matter of putting everything kind of back in place. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna kind of set it right there. We're gonna take our bolt and just mock it up just to see what we're working with. Okay, so it looks good. My only concern, look at this. What is that? Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. I don't like where this is going. We're not driving down the road like this. This is big brain time. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take some 3M and I think we're just gonna run 3M all along here. I don't really wanna do that because it's gonna make direct contact with the paint, but it's on the bottom. At this point, this is probably our best bet. So if you don't have any 3M double-sided tape, pause the video right here, go get you some, come back, press play, and we'll continue on. A few moments later. So as you can see, I ran 3M tape all the way from the top to the bottom. So now this should hopefully help our problem. Before we install this, you're gonna take some isopropyl alcohol, rub it along the bottom, that way we have a nice surface for the 3M to stick to. So before you install it, if you peel back some of the 3M tape like this on each section that you have, you can just pull it from the top, pull it all the way across. It'll make installation a lot easier. Well, there you have it guys. That is the installation complete of the OEM style side skirts from Mix Store. So one thing to note, that 3M helped 
immensely. Good thing we used our brain and figured that out because Mixed Store provided us with zero instructions or any tools on how to do it. Now, if I had to rate this product, I'm gonna give it probably about a three out of 10, man. $200 is kind of a lot for some people and the value you get just isn't here. Visually, it looks okay, but that's about it. Feels cheap, it feels flimsy. Long-term, I really don't know how this is gonna hold up. I guess we'll find out. Goodbye. But honestly, in the near future, I might just go with a different company. If y'all know of any other side skirts that I might have missed, uh, please leave them in the comments down below. I'd really appreciate your feedback. I know you guys have been wanting a side skirt video for a very long time. I hope I fulfilled your wants. So with that said, guys, if you learned something, please like, share, and subscribe. This is Stratty signing out. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.